Hi everybody! In this video we are going to learn how to insert dimension lines in floor plans and how to make them annotative, so we can define the size that they will have when printed. This is something very useful. Then we will go over some useful tips for creating dimension lines in floor plans. So we can start! Let's go to the Layer Properties Manager and create a new layer for dimension lines. As you can see, I have created this one, DLI. Go to the Annotate tab and on the Dimensions panel go to the Dimension Style Manager. Choose the Annotative Style. Click on Modify. Then here I will go to the Text tab specify the text height as 1.8 and on symbols and arrows use the same value for the arrow size. Finally, in the lines tab I will add a fixed length extension lines as 3 mm. So, with these settings the annotative dimension style will ensure that the text, arrows and extension lines print at the sizes I specified regardless of the scale in the viewport. So, I'm going to click on OK to save the changes in the Dimension Style Manager. Then, to add the annotative dimensions, I need to specify the same scale as the viewport where I want the dimensions to appear, which is 1 per 100. Then, I can start drawing the dimensions on the floor plan. I click on these two points for the first dimension, I move upward and click again to place it. As you can see, the extension lines now have a fixed length. Then, to draw the remaining dimension lines, which are all placed on the same side, I click in the icon Continue here and you can see that the new dimension starts from the last point exactly. This way, you can see how easily I can add dimensions here until I reach the other end. And when I finish, I just press Escape. Now I'm going to show you very useful tips to use with dimension lines. Dim layer. Using the dim layer function, I can define a layer that will contain all the new dimension objects I created. So, I'm going to specify the layer DLI. And what happens is that if my current layer is Windows, any dimension line I create is automatically placed in the DLI layer. Let's switch again to the Layout 1 tab and you can see the dimension lines there because this viewport uses the same scale as the annotative dimension style. If, on the other hand, I have a viewport with a different scale for example, 1 per 50, the dimensions do not appear. How to change the colors for printing? In the Layer Properties Manager, I can change the VP color, viewport color, for each layer. But of course, the viewport must be active, otherwise it will not work. So, here I'm going to change the DLI layer to grey and you can see now it's more visible. How to bring the dimension lines below the other objects? That's in case you prefer to hide the extension lines when it overlaps a wall. So, this is something common to happen, but I'm going to show you a trick. Select one dimension line, right click and choose Select Similar. This option selects all similar objects. As this is a dimension line, it selects all of them when they are in the same layer. Then right click again, go to Draw Order and click on Send to Back. Now you can see all the dimension lines are behind the remaining objects. This new example has a section at the right which is long enough to not fit in a paper. And this representation means that this length is larger than what it looks like here. So I'm going to add a dimension line, but this time let's use the tool Continue. 
then pick up this last dimension and place this new one here. Now, the length of this dimension line is 300 mm, however, the real size of that section is 1500. To represent that, I need to add the jog dimension. The button is located here. And this is simple. First, I click on the button, then select the dimension line and click exactly in the place where you want to add the jog. Now, to replace the current measurement, I can simply double click on the text and change the value to 1500. Basically, what I'm doing here is adding a text override and it can be either as a text, numbers or both. Finally, select the dimension, click with the right button, go to Quick Properties and there I can see the real measurement of the dimension, which I cannot change it, is 300, and the current text override. So, to display again the real measurement of the dimension line, just erase the text that you've inserted before. So, that's all in this video. If you are interested in learning AutoCAD from the beginning, I have a complete course in AutoCAD as well as another one in Revit, in the platform Udemy. If you join it, you will have free access forever. There aren't destruction ads, you can find DWG files and PDFs in some lectures, and I also included full exercises at the end of the course to practice your skills. So you can find the links below in the description and check out the list of contents and the preview lectures. So it's everything, see you in the next time.